Hello everyone, Budget Scenery Workshop, back with another vid, and today is going to be a little bit different. Um, as you can tell, this video has been added to my Bits Box build-up and eBay reviews. <coughs> Basically what it is, is I have a Bits Box, as any other self-respecting gamer and hobbyist should have and I've been wanting to bulk it up considerably. I've done pretty well so far but I haven't had any you know kind of terrain or useful bits like that it's just been for minis so when Creatures, Caverns and Crafting got in touch with me via Instagram, he said he would um, print off and send me some um, terrain and bits and pieces. And this was absolutely free, which is outstanding. Thank you again. I, you know, said yes. At, at first I thought he was like gonna send me the plans but I was like oh sadly I don't have a 3d printer but thanks for the thought but no no he said he would print them off and send them to me free of charge so again thank you I'll um I'll post a link to your channel down in the uh, comments and description so without further ado let's get on okay first we'll go through the doors As you can see, the um, I've always been really impressed with the amount of detail you can get from 3D printing. I've seen some that, um, more specifically on minis, where the the um, the detail isn't too great. But yeah, I really like. The amount of detail and you know that it's not smooth so it'll pick up a lot of detail when giving it a good paint and dry brush so I'll have to think actually I will put those in my bit box straight away so yes I'll have to think of a suitable build as a kind of thank you video so these should see me through a good few builds okay now onto the windows uh, there are some there are do, do, three that I would say just look like regular windows But what I can do, I still have some of that clear plastic from that um, pack of straws. And I have some coloured cards, so I may make some nice windows to go along with an interesting build. And again, yeah, detail is very, very good. And there are six kind of blasted out apocalyptic looking windows. So kind of fallout slash um, what's the game? Mutant crawl classic style build is definitely on the cards yes I'm also looking to build up my um, yeah so if anyone has any ideas for cool 
reference books where it uh, has different scenarios and stuff like that because I have a few Frostgrave books and I have a couple of old Warhammer books but yeah just something more reference books so I can get more scenarios more build ideas that'd be awesome the more obscure the better <laughs> so yeah I think these blasted out windows look awesome uh, the windows and doors are by Corvus Games now full disclosure I know zero <laughs> about 3d printing but if you're in on your 3d printing jargon and you know what you're doing I assume it's a site you go to called Corvus Games and you can download the plans for the doors and windows now these when I first saw these, I thought, oh man, these look cool. These have got like a Mad Max inspired scenery written all over them. Uh, the cars are by Printable Scenery. I just love how blasted out they look. <laughs> You've got some tires in the boot so that's one this is other, I think this one's my favourite <laughs> just completely destroyed so yes those cars were by printable scenery now this is slightly different. I thought, oh cool, little treasure chest. This will come in handy. Maybe a, a pirate themed build. Then, because um, it didn't all come together, it was kind of like in parts and stuff. So like, the lid was separate, this was separate, and uh, it's, a, it's a mimic. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. When it, when it arrived, it kind of like rattled around the box and obviously it came loose but yeah and that is by an artist called and apologies if I butcher this name uh, Angel Kenniger Kenninger Kenniger so yes that is an amazing little thing I just love that uh, there are also some other bits I assume this is like a a mould for a for like a bit of detail on the side of a building and my resin resin has just arrived Literally, like five minutes before I set up recording, so so that's cool. And there are also other bits and pieces which it will come in very handy. For more like sci fi. Futuristic style build. There's a little ship wheel there. Now, to me, that looks like um, do you know, you go in a church and there'd be like a a water fountain where someone would get uh, baptized. Just a little crucifix detail there. So yeah, some amazing additions to my ever ext extending bits box. Also, <laughs> these are super cool. Uh, included <clears throat> was a 
little spider, or big chunky spider I guess, considering the scale. I'm not sure what these are from, but I was looking on, because I'm sure you're aware, the English Amazon and US Amazon excel completely different things. Uh, to find these, I had to go on to the US Amazon, and annoyingly, shipping for these, for the full box of uh, figures, was actually more than, you know, the box itself. I think these are from a toy line cause called Alien vs. or Humans vs. Aliens. Because I was looking at, because I was looking on the English um, Amazon for these, I couldn't find them, so I selected my region as US, and they came up straight away. And there's another one. So yes. Yes, as I stated earlier, full disclosure, I know absolutely nothing about uh, 3D printing. I do not own a 3D printer. But, um, yes, I, I will list the, the sites and the artist that did the mimic down in the description. I will also post a link to Creatures, Caverns and Crafting's channel. Again, a big, big thank you for sending me these. They are amazing, and I will definitely put them to good use. So, just once again, the windows and doors were by Corvus Games. The cars were done by Printable Scenery, and Angel Kenniger did the Mimic. <clears throat> okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, why not hit that like button? If you would like to see more of my content, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. You will not miss a thing. I have noticed I'm getting a lot, a lot of views by uh, from people that aren't subscribed. So please do subscribe and you'll never miss a thing. And if you would like to support the channel, please do think about becoming a supporter on Patreon. I, then you can vote for a monthly special vid on higher tiers and there will be other benefits um, added once I have a kind of like shuffle around and you know sort things that are more appealing more useful but yeah at the moment it is what it is <laughs> so Okay, thanks again for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Just let me know what you think. And also, let me know what the audio is like for this video. Because uh, apparently in my previous video, the audio was really low. Now, if you're watching on a phone, the audio might be quite loud. But if you're watching on TV, the audio might be quite low. Which is really, really annoying. Anyway. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Bye for now, folks.